Let's face it, English is a stupid language. I agree. Because if we examine the paradoxes, they're not paradoxes, they're just a result of historical shenanigans, like how bread turns moldy after some time in the future. We find that there's no egg in eggplant. Here's an eggplant. Doesn't look anything like an egg. This eggplant, however, does look like an egg. This is also why the purple eggplants are sometimes called aubergines. No ham in hamburger. One theory suggests that hamburger came from the German town Hamburg. Plus, hamburger is not related to ham in any way. There's no pine or apple in pineapple. I already talked about this in my last linguistic video, but the pine in pineapple came from the fact that pineapples look like pine cones, and the apple in pineapple used to be a generic term for fruit. English muffins were not invented in England. But they are. French fries were not invented in France. French fries aren't actually French. Huh? Oh, I remember this. They originated in Belgium, and the French part refers to the word Frenching, which is a method of cutting used for the fries. Quick sand takes you down slowly. Quick used to mean alive. Thus, alive sand. The definition is now archaic. Boxing rings are square. They used to be circles. A guinea pig is neither from guinea or a pig. There are multiple competing theories, but no consensus on where guinea in guinea pig came from and why it's called a pig. I'll give a point to him. If writers write, how come fingers don't think? The word finger was never a verb to begin with. If the teachers taught, why didn't the preacher prod? The words teach and taught are different because of historical shenanigans, I guess. They just drifted apart. If the plural of tooth is teeth, why isn't the plural of phone booth phone beef? In old English, every noun with a vowel oo changes into e in the plural form. This is why you get words like goose and geese and foot and feet. In Middle English, the plural form changed to just adding s at the end. The word booth was added into Middle English from Old Norse, and so booth received the plural treatment from Middle English instead of Old English. If a vegetarian eats vegetables, what the hell does a humanitarian eat? The suffix Aryan just means someone who advocates or believes in something. A vegetarian advocates to only eat non-animal products. A humanitarian advocates to make humans suffer less. Why do we recite at a play, but play at a recital? I'm not sure why, so I'll give him another point. Park on driveways and drive on parkways. I explained this already too, but a driveway would be a path you would drive to park your car, and you would drive through a park. A park and to park are not the same words. A house is burning up as it burns down. The word up here is used as an intensifier instead of a direction, like how I would tell you to shut up. And you fill out a form by filling it in. The phrase fill out may have been loaned as a calc from German and just means to fill in. Additionally, people in Britain use fill in instead of fill out. Mm, what you say? Mm, that you only meant